It's been so long, it's been so long Cruising to the campsite, singing our song It's been so long, it's been so long We are the Airstream Nerds This is Jeff from Airstream Nerds And one of the things that I have I have the equalizer hitch, as uh, those of you that are following our channel know. Um, no, my truck's not here right now. It's in the shop. But when it's hooked up to the hitch with the, with the bars and everything on it, I can't open the tailgate. Tailgate comes down, and it hits, like, right here. So I had, you know, we're all on the forums. We're all on Facebook and things like that. And I saw somewhere... Somebody had their the head to their their jack turned, so therefore you don't have that issue anymore. Um, so I decided today, since it's the first nice day in <laughs> in a month, that I would look into how much trouble it is to move the head. So first thing you're going to need cut the wire ties that's holding your your um, power cable to it so I cut the couple of wire tires off wire ties off and if you look here back there and right here you'll find set screws Allen head set screws so I literally just put the Allen wrench I loosened them up now the head easily you can turn it but what it does is it manually turns your jack but if you lift it off there is like a, a gear that the underside shaft sits in so it's literally you can do it manually it's not really that hard. I'm not putting much effort in. Just turn the whole box. Or you could lift it up, get it close, and turn it the rest of the way. So I'm going to turn the box this way. Um, the only thing that I can see is this screw. So I've got some foam tape, some 3M foam tape that I use for um, different things. I'm going to cover that screw up so I don't get any more wear marks on my propane cover um this is just just from driving down the road just scratches from that motor head hitting it so let me go get that and i'll be right back so this is the foam stuff i'm talking about and it's not super soft it's not like a felt or anything like that um and it's probably an eighth of an inch thick and i didn't realize when I was talking about it, but there's actually a number on it. I don't know if that's the actual number, part number, or what have you, but this is stuff. It's really good stuff. Um, it sticks through heat and everything. I use it. It comes with um, low voltage wiring panels. I do audio video and, and whole house wiring stuff for a living. And these come with the Leviton panels to cover the holes in the top of the panels. I just keep dust and crap from getting in when you, when you after you run all your cables in. Anyway. Um, so I'm going to use a piece of this. I'm going to clean it off with some with some alcohol, and then I'm just going to take a whole little square. This this stuff comes in, in squares, as you can see. Um, it's already separated. Just I'm going to take that whole square, and I'm going to lay it on there. Okay, I got everything secure back in here. Um, there's where the piece is sitting. Let's see if you can kind of you can kind of see it. Um, the only thing that is touching is that nut, so, or that screw head, so, um, all it does is hold the plastic shroud on, so I probably could have took it out, but we'll see. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. Um, everything is, is tight on here. It still works. I've got the wire ties back on, so the fuse holder and the, and the power wire is all back together. And 100%, I've gained another few inches basically this much so i've gained a good four or five inches of clearance so my tailgate's going to be able to open now um 
the biggest thing is once the trailer's hooked up, it's hard to put coolers in and everything because you have to lift up over the tailgate. So now that I've turned this, should be good to go. Anyway, hopefully this helps somebody, gives somebody an idea. Please subscribe, leave a comment below. Um, any questions, any comments, please let me know. This is Jeff, Maristream Nerds, and I'll see you on the next trip.